Okay, everybody. I've got another good one for you today. This is my second one today. And I've opened the box and had it out and had a look at it. But I'm going to put this up a little closer to the camera. HGLRC XJBF428-TX20V2. Uh, this is the HGLRC uh, flight controller. So, I'm going to pull this out of the box real quick. Da -da -da. Your little dipole antenna. You get the standoffs and the screws. The instruction manual. Everything's little. Even the, even the uh, decal sheet is small. So anyway. Uh, I was just looking at it a little bit ago. And this was one of the things that attracted me to this. Was the a uh, four-in-one ESC. Now, try and make sure I get everything in shot here today. I just built a quad. Dun, 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 over here, quad, quadcopter, and it's got the Emacs four-in-one stack in it, which I believe the dimensions for the bolt holes or the standoffs, whatever you want to call them, are thirty point five millimeters. You know, from there to there. This one. We use the millimeter side is 20 millimeters from a hole to hole so it's a lot smaller but <clears throat> what really interested me the most was that Emacs one where you put the battery to it the two solder pads were so close together it's 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 hard to even imagine when I got done soldering them the only thing I could fit between the two solder pads was this little one thirty second? I cut a little piece and stuck it in between there just for the heck of it. I thought about putting a piece in there and putting some hot glue on it to make it insulated. But anyway, that's the only thing I could fit between the solder pads. Look at this guy. I can fit. And actually, I've already measured it. It's three sixteenths between pads. That's six times the difference uh, as far as the space for trying to. You might be able to see it how close those wires were you might not be able to see it but then they were close and i like to think i'm pretty good at soldering but you now it's kind of a pain in the backside. anyway so i'm just going to kind of show this off so it comes with the uh the uh four and one and it also comes with the uh flight controller how many boy how many bus f4 um, I don't know all the details on it. It's got a lot of solder pads, and I'm not going to go into what every little pad does or all that. I'm just kind of checking this out, and it's got the little connector right there. And there's six six little pins that come off the ESC. And basically, what you do is when you mount this in your quad, um, there's an arrow on there. So this is actually the front. Should be an arrow on this guy too, so that's the front. And these guys, if you, you be real careful, line them up nice and straight and push it together, that starts making your stack. So we have the ESC, 401 ESC uh, electronic speed control on the bottom. We have our FCR flight controller board there. And then and this, and we got one other little item here goes with this and this is the uh, I hope it's in shot and clear looks like it is this is the man I'm drawing right video TX video transmitter and it can go on pretty much any direction but I'm sure that that what we're gonna end up doing is it depending on where the it's probably gonna go on something like this so you can read it straight like from the back I I haven't quite got that far yet, but we will figure it out. And then there's some, they'll have to solder a few wires from here to the board. And there's a couple other little wires. And it comes with all the standoffs and stuff. So we'll just make this into a stack. Um, it did not come with a uh, receiver like the Emacs one did. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to pick up separate. I'm going to get me one of those. Uh, uh, the Fire Sky, Fry Sky, Free Sky, however you pronounce it. Uh, one of the little XM pluses or whatever. It's a little 
teeny tiny thing. It's even a little bit smaller than this. Um, and the other thing I really liked about this, um, because you see a lot of videos where they talk about it. Let me pull this apart here very carefully. Nice and straight so they don't bend the pins. Um, is that uh, a lot of times they recommend that I hope that's in shot, and I believe it is. They recommend that when you put your battery, um, I'm just, I got a piece of wire here somewhere. Man, I just had it. Anyway, oh, here it is. On the side of your battery, pigtail lead on here, your, uh, probably, I'll probably use XT60s. When you put these wires on here, they often recommend you place a capacitor across the two. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's kind of tricky to solder this little bit onto that little bit and a capacitor which is just a little metal lead um I don't, and i figured one would come with this but it didn't i never used the one in the emacs stack because of the pain in the rear it was going to be to try and solder that that the, both of them to the pad uh, but what they've done different on this one which was something that attracted me to it straight across there are two little solder pads and guess what goes there the capacitor so you could actually remote mount the capacitor somewhere like somewhere else on your quad or you could put it straight there and just kind of hang it off the side i haven't decided how to do it but it makes it simple because it's got its own little pads to me that is just i mean that's i mean that's a cat's ass right there that's 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 cool hmm so anyway, uh, that's it. Here we go. Uh, H G L R C. Uh, we've got a little uh, T Rex on there. I'm not sure why, but I guess the T Rex is cool. T Rex is on this board somewhere too, if I remember right. Boy, this one's gonna be hard to see. I'm gonna pull it way close up here. To the, it's right there between the, the, the V bat pads. <laughs> And what else is neat, there's some stuff on the bottom of this board, too. You could, if for some reason it worked out better that you wanted your wires on the bottom, which might be very possible that when they come straight off the bottom, and when it sits down on your quad, the, ba the battery wires don't have to kind of do any kind of loop. It will just come straight out, and you can zip tie it to the, to the bottom part of your frame. Um, and, of course, you know, that's the battery. Battery goes there, and this actually sits off to the side, whichever side it is, the right side. And then we got one, two, three, go to your motors, and one, two, three, goes to the other motor. One, two, three, goes up front, one, two, three, front left. And um, that's, that's pretty slick. Just slick, slick, slick. So it even says it on the back here. Motor one, motor two motor three motor four so if you flip it over it's your standard one two three four kind of setup so that's pretty cool so we could take a quick look i'm pretty sure this has smart audio too i'm not going to go into all that quick look at the was this the flight controller yeah yeah flight controller we got our little micro USB there to hook it up to beta flight and this one's got solder pads on the bottom as top and bottom as well I'm not sure if anything are different or if it just transfers. It looks like there's uh, Some different ones, so This is just my quick look at it and uh, man, it's small I mean We already measured it once but it's 20 by 20 and I got me another one of these Let's zoom out a little bit or you know, I guess it would be got me another Valorum frame and it just so happens that the bottom well, you can't see the batteries there it does have the screws for either 30 and a half by 30 and a half or or two or 20 by 20 underneath there so that's cool that this board will work and uh we're not gonna weigh it I have a little scale I thought about that the last second my name's not Stewie I don't have to weigh every freaking thing so <laughs> So what you get, you get the dipole. I wish it would have came with an SMA one instead of just a little dipole or, you know, both of them, but it didn't. So that's not a big deal. Um, it's got the, I'm not even, I don't even remember what they call that connector. I'm not really a big fan of this little UFL, I think it's called. 
uh, they make an MCCX or something. It's a little bigger, a little more, a little more durable. I think I, I I I don't have any experience with it, so I really don't know. Um, I have used this just one first time ever on my quad over here, my blow arm. So you know it works. You know it works. So it does what it's supposed to do. All right, that's it for now. Uh, H G L R C. Flight controller stack, and uh, by the way, I did purchase this from my favorite chap, Ready Made RC. I believe they are uh, seventy two ninety nine from there, and I'll uh, put a link down in the in the description of that. And uh, I'm not like an affiliate or anything, so I ain't making no money. I just love Ready Made RC. I actually, I actually, I live in Northwest Indiana, and uh, I ordered this on a Thursday morning, and it was here. Friday at like 1230 um, Sweet FedEx two-day shipping or something is what I clicked and that only cost me 60 cents um, Maybe they're running a special. I'm not sure how I pulled that one off But it might cost 60 cents to get it shipped with a couple other things. So anyway, there you go. That's it uh, That's all I got for now. See you bye